hey, the Fort Myers real estate market. Yeah, the Fort Myers real estate market is getting hotter and hotter. Stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Manny, your Pool Home Realtor with Remax Realty Team. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Fort Myers real estate market. I'm going to give you the numbers as always. Uh, make sure you know you guys know what's going on over here in the real estate market in Fort Myers. Uh, Fort Myers is getting hot, really, really hot right now. It's kind of uh, going uh, pouring hand in hand with um, uh, Lehigh Acres and Cape Coral. So. Let's um, start with those numbers. Hey, if you got like this video, hey, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It will help me a lot. Thank you very much, guys. Come on, let's double check over here the numbers really quick. So in Fort Myers, last month for the month of uh, February, 385 properties sold uh, in that month. Um, what we got available right now, 429. Uh, that's that's uh, with including the new construction. So if you take the 73, uh, properties that is on the market you roughly has 356 properties in the MLS that you could purchase home or you could purchase like right now um, you know from 385 that we sold in uh, February to 356 you know um, if you guys have been following me all, all over here on my channel you guys would have seen you know how uh, Fort Myers I think in previous months we were you know 700 600 and now uh, we jumped down to uh, 356. So if you guys haven't seen any of those other videos, hey, double check on the description of this video. I'm going to put the uh, past month uh, real estate market or, hey, double check in one of these cards over here that I'm going to put out. And um, just to let you guys know too, uh, the land over here have gone up significantly and there's a lot of people buying land. So if you have a piece of land and, you know, you don't think you're going to be using it, let me know, give me a call. Uh, my phone number is 239-822-0937. I could give you a roughly estimate of how much it's worth and see if we, you know, we could be able to sell it. I put three pieces of land on uh, this past Monday and sold it in less than 24 hours. So if you're interested in selling some of the, some of the land that you own, let me know, give me a call. I'm gonna put over here my information to you as well. Uh, send me an email, text, or call me. Um, so right now we got 429 properties, 73 properties of those are brand new construction. That leave us with uh, 356. Yep, 356 properties available. Hey, let's double check our uh, medium price, average price, days on the market and month of supply so you guys see where we at. As you guys know, I always like to show you, I don't like to tell you. So come over here, let me show you what, uh, what those numbers look like. So hey guys, we're gonna be showing the sell price of uh, Fort Myers uh, in average price days on the market and month of supply. So if you guys see over here Fort Myers right now, uh, we are at 330 for the medium price. Now this is something that we have to kind of uh, you know keep an eye on it and see if you know this would be the level part of Fort Myers. Um, if this continue to you know go this route or keep them going down so keep an eye on it don't forget to subscribe so you guys uh, we get this um, videos every single month um, but yeah from you know 359 uh, 335 330 now keep in mind this might this spike spike over here might be with those uh, million dollar homes uh, that sold in Miramar Lakes um, that may be, you know, uh, the why. Maybe this could be more something like this instead of going, you know, in that spike. Because, you know, if you guys want to check the November market, I'm going to put it over here. Um, so, you know, that may be that spike with those million dollar homes that sold in that month. So the average price over here in uh, Fort Myers right now, we are 411. Um, if you guys know, here you go, this is July 2020 and then, you know, Fort Myers starts going up. Uh, for the average uh, days on the market uh, let me double check the median days on the market for the median we still you know less than 30 days um, September 2020 um, it was 35 days it just you know went down to 21 19 20 16 18 um, so that's pretty much shit uh, month of supply for the single family homes over here in um, uh, Fort Myers you know you're looking at you know, 1.1. Um, if you take out those 73, that's 356. I would say that's, uh, you know, roughly 
um, you know, one month of supply uh, available. If, as you guys know, one month of supply is, is if nothing else hit the market, it's going to take one month to, um, you know, consume all that inventory. One uh, indicator that we always uh, use to check the, uh, we are in seller market, neutral market, or a buyer's market is, so I would say anything above six months is a buyer's market. Uh, that's six to four um, and neutral, uh, four and down, you know, you're probably gonna be in a, in a strong seller's market. So um, that's pretty much it uh, in that aspect. Hey, let me show you something really quick. I think this is a little bit alarming too. Uh, and I'm gonna talk the same thing pretty much in all the three markets. Um, but let me show you this. Um, let me show you this graph over here. This is the closed sales per, you know, over here in the, in the Lee County uh, for these past five years, roughly. So if you see 2016, um, over here you got April, March, April, uh, May, and then start coming down. This is closed sales. So if you guys could see, this is the top of the market of closing sales over here in this area. Uh, 2017, you know, this is March, April, May, uh, July, June. So, you know, that was kind of a steady over there. There's were no high. 2018, you know, March, April, June. 2019, March, April, June, and then go down. You know what I'm going with this? This next month is going to be brutal for, our, you know, for our buyers or people who are buying down here because... You know, those are the top months of closing sales. So what that means is what, you know, and now there's a lot of people buying. Today we're in uh, March, so April is going to be closing. The people who are going to come down in April is going to be closing on June, roughly. You know, give it a takes, you know, uh, 45 days, 30 days, so, um, and so on. Maybe on to, um, you know, whoever coming down in Mar in May, um, they're closing in June, so. Uh, I mean, it's going to be brutal these next three months. So um, that that's pretty much it with the, with the uh, real estate market over here. Uh, one thing that I'm going to tell you guys is if you guys are first time home buyer and, you know, by the time you close on your house, you walk out with zero money on your bank account, uh, please reconsider, you know, buying a house. I don't think you might be ready uh, yet for that. Hey, just once again, take this, you know, it's just, at this moment, if you're not 100% sure or have your, your funds together and a really good offer, uh, you're probably, you know, sellers probably not giving, you know, almost closing costs. I'm not saying that they're not doing it. I'm just saying that it's going to be really difficult. You're, you know, fighting with, you know, 10, maybe 15 offers um, above yours. So if the house is really, really nice. So um, you got that. Where the real estate market for Fort Myers is going to go? Um, I would say, you know, we're going to start seeing a little bit more of, of that um, level uh, based on, on what, you know, what I see over here in the, in the graph. Um, you know, most of the people ask me if you guys see all my other Cape Coral video, like, you know, I, I think we're not on a, on a housing bubble. Um, you know, there's nothing to burst, like. Back in 2006, you know, 2005, 2004, there were a lot of fraud. Um, and such, you guys know, they regulate all that. So, you know, that won't happen again. Um, you know, right now, the, the lenders have been, you know, really, you know, they ask for a lot of paperwork and stuff like that. So now you're going to tell me, hey, Manny, what about all those people that are not paying rent? And, you know, um, hey, listen, it, it, that's what, 2.5 million, 2.3 million dollar, um, 2.3 million people. Uh, they're not paying. Let's see, for example, you know, 1.8 of those hit the market. We all the buyers that we got and the way that our inventory is, remember, supply and demand. Supply is down and demand is high. It's going to bring those prices up. Once those hit the market, I don't think that's going to, you know, we might jump into a three months of supply, um, you know, uh, between. But if those homes, hopefully nobody, you know, I don't, I'm not wishing nobody lose their home. Hopefully that could kind of bring something out to, you know, people that don't, don't lose their home. Um, but, you know, that's, that's my thought on it. Once again, I don't have no crystal ball to say this and this is going to happen. But those are my thoughts on it. So um, nothing. If you guys have, you know, any question or whatnot, put it on the description below. Double check everything that I put down there. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. 
and nothing. I'll see you next month in the next video. Talk to you later, guys.